you get to spray paint today. Yay! Aren't you so excited? But first we gotta talk about how we gonna do it. So, <clears throat> first of all, the first thing that I need you to do is I need you to cut your name out as all one big piece. So here's mine that I've cut out. Yeah. I would also recommend not talking while you cut so that you don't make a mistake because you can't undo cutting. So once I've got my name all cut out, I'm gonna bring it back here to the back because we're not doing this at our tables. We will be using liquid watercolors in a spray bottle. Uh, and so everybody repeat that with me, liquid watercolors. And we'll be doing it back here because these are super messy. I've already washed my hands four times since I got paint on them. It's not going anywhere for a few days. So you need to be very careful and make sure that you are only spraying your tag. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna use our lovely color wheel that's back here. Ooh, ah, color wheel. And we are going to be picking analogous colors. Everybody say it, analogous. You've learned these before if you've been in my class here at Pearson. Um, but if not, let's go over it real quick. Analogous are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So red, orange, yellow, these would be analogous. Or red, violet, blue, or yellow, green, blue. Colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. You're gonna pick three colors that are analogous colors um, from the spray area. So I am going to do purple and red and blue. That's what I'm gonna do. So when I go to spray these, I need to take the cap off. So this right here, that's where the spray is going to come out. So I need to make sure that it is pointed down at my artwork and not towards me when I go to press. Otherwise, I will look dumb. So make sure it's pointed the right way. And we're gonna hold, we're not gonna hold it way down here, and we're gonna go back. You need to be about six inches from your artwork, and we're going to, maybe, we're going to, you might have to pump it a few times. There we go. You're gonna lightly start to spray paint your name. Ooh, ah. Key sentence there being lightly, okay? Because if we do it lightly, we get a really cool, fun effect. If we do too much, it just looks like a big runny mess. So less is more. It's not gonna take you all class to do this. It's okay. But I can switch between my different analogous colors, make sure it's pointing the right way, six inches away. Pump it a few times. It's gonna take it a second to want to come out. There we go. And I'm gonna spray. I can mix it with the other color I had a little bit, but not all the way. And then finally I'll do my last color at the bottom. And it's thinking about, there we go. All right, so now I'm done. I will carefully pick this up. I'll show you real quick. Ooh ah, super fun. I'm gonna go take this over to the drying rack to dry. And that's all you're doing today.